Good day. Thank you very much for always watching Dazi TV. My name is Isaac Dazi. Today, we are on the University of Cape Coast campus. To be precise, as you can see from the background, it's Felt Auditorium 900. Yes. The School of Business Dean's Awards Night. And it is Awards Night. It's an Awards Night organized by the School of Business to organize students who have excelled academically. In fact, if I level 100, going to 200, and the CGPA is above 3.6, the school has instituted an awards to recognize those students who have done very well. So tonight, as you're watching that live right now, the awards night is about to start. So you go inside and check some of the visuals over there. But if today is your first time of watching Dazzy TV, you make sure you click on the subscribe button and be part of Dazzy TV family. So it's all about the School of Business Dean's Awards Night. Now I have this beautiful young lady here. Before I go ahead to say this, congratulations. Thank you. I mean, University of Cape Coast and School of Business that I know, how did you manage to get above 0.6? Oh, it's all about motivation and the hard work of the lecturers and some of the students too. And you are in? And with God, with God all things are possible. I'm in level 300. Level 300. And were you part of the level 100 and 200? Level 100? No, please. I moved from second class to first class this year. So how did you do it? I mean, we have a lot of students out there who are also below the first class. How did you manage to get to the first class? I mean, when they were in the second class? Determination. Yeah, so fair determination is this. Failure can never dismantle the flag of success. Motivation, Abaha. Young Koi, thank you very much for speaking to us. I have this gentleman here. Please, your name? Modekai Ansa, level 200 student. Level 200 student. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. How, how's the feeling like? I mean, first class student in UCC. Well, it's very great. And you know that it's your hard work and by the grace of God that has paid off. So you need to be excited, but not get over your minds. You need to know that it's level 200 and 300 and 400 is ahead of us. And then finally the graduation too. You need to know that just I'm in the first class, but then that's not all. I have to aim my and make it when I'm graduating. Okay. All right, so thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you so much for this afternoon. Thank you, Lord, for your thank you for the gift of life. Thank you that, Lord, once again, the school of business, we have the opportunity to gather again to award our students, hardworking students. We ask the God that you be with us throughout this service, in this ceremony. We pray that let this program be an inspiration to our deeds and even to their colleagues who are looking to work. We thank you for Jenny Messies for our guest speaker and to all of us who have traveled for time near to this place. We will just draw this program in Jesus' name. Amen. We have gathered here to celebrate our top students and want to urge you that continue to work hard where you are. When I go through the list, 3.8, 3.7, we can even make the 3.9 or 4.0. But whatever level that we find ourselves, level 200, 300, 200, 300, and also 400, yes, you have to work hard to maintain your class that you find yourself. As we go higher, they say the higher you go, the cooler it becomes, but it's also in the education environment. So if you are in first class, try and work hard to maintain it. So, my dear students, congratulations. 
Congratulations. We are not happy. Yes, congratulations. We have worked very, very hard. UCC to be obtaining three points. Eight. And the most interesting thing is that when we say you are a good student, it's not one person saying that you are a good student. Invited to our days of our general students, ladies and gentlemen. In the school of business, students who obtain first class at each level after an academic year qualify to be on the dean's list. And we have decided that from this academic year, we will create an electronic database for the dean's list so that it will be on our uh, website. The School of Business has slowed application with many professional bodies and today the Institute of Chartered Accountant in Ghana will be given the opportunity to launch its new syllabus while Chartered Institute of Procurement and Supply uh, will award two students who graduated with MSc Procurement and Supply Chain. Who should have obtained this or received this award during the last graduation? But uh, that didn't happen, so they will do that to demonstrate our uh, continuous affiliation with them. Uh, ACCA is also working very hard to hand over a modern resource center to the School of Business in April. Uh, our students and alumni are contributing and influencing governance, policy making, entrepreneurship and innovation in Ghana and beyond, and we are proud of that. Our lecturers, administrative staff, and students are always motivated by our core values of reliability, integrity, good governance, honesty, and teamwork. Now, before I uh, make some comments about uh, the awards today, I also need to indicate that we also consider or extracted a number of students who are below uh, certain desirable grade points. And we earlier on distributed this list to each of who answered these students and have given them hope uh, to be able to uh, complete their. Uh, their programs. Some obtain as low as 1.9, uh, some around 2.0. All these students, we extracted their names and allowed the HOVs to cancel them, talk to them. And where there are difficult situations, uh, we have been able to talk to these students to be a part with the rest of the students so that they feel that we are in a community. The School of Business also uh, have recognized the contribution of our own students to our development fund. And the development fund, the D accompanying the development fund, spelled out how we should disperse the money. And the board of the development fund has graciously approved 100,000 Ghana cities, which we have distributed to 54 undergraduate students and three postgraduate students in the school. And formal uh, launching and announcement of this will be done on Monday by the university. <laughs> the award ceremony this afternoon will be awarding 15 students at the Mohandel in the Department of Accounting and 41 students at level 300 at the Department of Accounting, 24 who are now in level 400 at the same department. And the Department of Accounting is producing 100 students for the award. Four students at level 200 will be receiving award at the Department of Finance, and 12 at level 300, one at level 400, and uh, that, sorry, 12 at level 300, 12 at level 400, 
started in the total of 28. At the Department of Human Rights of the one out of 400, that gives us a total of 15. Marketing. Marketing and supply chain is one department, but we have two programs there. Uh, so in the department of, sorry, in the program become marketing, we have eight students uh, at level 200, nine, zero at level 300, and two at level 400, giving us a total of 21. Procurement is a Three at level 200, six at level 300. Three at level. In all, 61 level 200 students will be uh, obtaining or receiving awards today, and 75 at level 300, and 50 at level 400, giving us a total of 186. Uh, what it means is that we cannot explain, we cannot blame it of all with any way. But what it means is that the number of our deeds as against the last award dropped by 40%. So we awarded 308 students during the 2019-2020 academic year, but now we are about to award 186. Now, we also did some analysis to see how many students along the line and how many students were able to from level 300 to 400, there was no improvement in terms of But from 200 to 300, we saw some improvement. Uh, level 200 for 2019, uh, we awarded 94 students. 94 students. But by the time we got to level 300, that those who are level 300 now, the number dropped to 41 number dropped to 41, which means that only 40 students from the Bachelor of Commerce and also a Master of Commerce from Accounting graduating from the School of Business, University of Cape Coast. He is currently pursuing PhD in Accounting Education. He is a business professional and a chartered accountant a Chartered Tax Advisor, Chartered Financial and Investment Analyst, a Chartered Economic Policy Analyst, and a Chartered Financial Economist. In fact, I looked at the head, but I can't see where all these things are stored. Give him a clap before we do the thing. Thank you.
Papa, ready for tea. I have a gentleman here who had 4.0, I mean 4.0, become accountant, 4.0, level 300. I'm going to interact with him and find out from how he managed to get a 4.0, so that if you're watching right now and you're having difficulty in your academic work, probably you'll pick some few tips from him. Before we start a conversation, congratulations in the first place. Thank you very much. Thank you how, so much. how did you manage to pull all this out? Level 300, become accountant, 4.0, brother. Well, first of all, I'd like to give thanks to the Almighty God. I would say it's not by strength in the first place. And then secondly, I would like to say that it has not been easy at all. Um, it's been a lot of research, it's been a lot of hard work, a lot of sleepless nights and all of that. But in the end, they have proved worthwhile. And so I'd like to tell everyone out there that it is not easy, but with the right amount of discipline and effort, I know that it is possible. You're saying that hard work and discipline you will get there and anybody familiar with become accountant ucc obviously will encounter fr fr1 fl2 quanti statistics all these things have done you manage to get an a and these are courses that students are always having problems of getting an a what strategy do you use to get those a's to still maintain at the 4.0 it is true, courses like FR, as you just mentioned, Quanti, they are courses that are very demanding. And so to be able to get an E in such courses demands a lot. Um, I would say that for FR, Quanti, and the other courses, it was a lot of sleepless nights. I had to combine a lot of um, sources, I had to consult the internet, watch videos on YouTube. I was always regular at lectures, I didn't take my studies lightly at all. I was always studying, always at the library, always asking questions in class, participating in group discussions, and a whole lot. So there, there is no one best way that I think um, we need or that helped me to be able to make an A in such courses. It's a lot of things that went into it. It's a lot of things and so I know that um, with the right combination of um, the right resources, it is possible, it is possible for I mean, such things to be done. For one to get an A in FR is very possible. One thing I always used to encourage myself is that um, I don't believe that anything is impossible. It may be difficult but then it is possible and so once it's possible I always know that it just needs some amount of effort and then when we are willing and then we are able to put in that effort it will come to pass and so it took a lot of research a lot of hard work i had to consult a lot of people and a lot of books before i was able to make an a in fr quantity and the other courses all right so if you're watching me live right now you're having problem with your fr quantity and other courses and become accountant according to him you have to research do your homework very well and not forgetting group studies as well because that's the best way to also get it in fact i mean i'm very proud of you because I've been there before, become accountant, I know that it's not that easy. So you forgetting the 4.0, some of us were even struggling to get 2.0. <laughs> but for us, get to, for you get to 4.0, I'm very proud of you. Uh, your final word to somebody watching right now who has lost hope of not even getting the CGPA, what is your final word to the person watching right now? Say something to them so to motivate them to learn very hard, to also get to where you are. Thank you very much. Well, I would like to say that um, quitting, quitting does not guarantee success. If you are facing challenges or difficulties and the only option you have is to quit, I would like to tell you that quitting will not cause you to gain success. And it is always not going to be easy. But then encourage yourself, motivate yourself, know that it is possible and just be willing to put in the work 
I know a lot of people are really putting in the work and it is not yielding the results but then I wouldn't encourage that you give up no matter where you have got into with the right amount of effort I know that um, you may be far you may be far from getting first class or getting the ease but giving up is not an option just keep pushing i mean there have been times that things have not gone as expected i've had certain um grades or certain scores in quizzes that were actually not the best and so such things did not really move me because i knew that they were just motivators they just motivated me to put in extra work and then when i did that i was able to see the result and so when you are putting in your best and your best is not yielding the best just keep on and then in due time i know that you get there all right just put in your effort and in due time you'll get congratulations thank you i mean how did you manage to pull out i mean i've been there before and even getting a b plus sometimes very difficult how did you manage to to get 3.6 and above to become part of this ceremony um, it's by the grace of God and also um, our lectures they've been helping us a lot and I know what I want I know where I want to be when I live so I make my goals and try to achieve them thank you I mean so when you start the semester what do you do in terms of setting realistic goals what are the things that you write it down so that I will guide you how to study and how to go by your things. Um, when we start a course, I know if this course is being difficult or it's going to be easy for me. And then I try to put more effort into it when I see that it's a challenging course. And also I try to do all my assessments, the quizzes and the assignments. I don't like to go below 30. So in the exams, I don't have to struggle so much in order to make up and get an A or at least a B plus. So that is your strategy. Yeah, That's what you do. Lectures. You don't do what? I don't miss lectures because I find mostly I'm the kind of person that I absorb directly from the lecturer as his teaching. So I don't like to miss lectures so that I can understand very well. As the guest speaker said that man know thyself, know yourself. At that time where when you sit in the classroom and you grab everything, you don't have any problem. But as some of you will decide to stay in there in your in your hostels, asking your friends to write a note for you. Mind know thyself. Okay, so finally somebody's watching life right now and the person wants to also improve his or academic way. What is your last word to the person? Your, your advice to anybody watching your life right now? You just have to believe in yourself, even if you are not in first class right now. It doesn't mean that you can't get there. You just have to do better. And I feel like some of my colleagues, they relax thinking that, oh, even if I don't do well in the quizzes, I might do well in the exams. But sometimes you don't know what will happen, and the exams is kind of a one shot. So it's better for you to do better in your assessments. So you don't have to struggle so much for the exam. Even if it doesn't go well, you can still make a better grade. Thank you very much for speaking to Dazzy TV. Dazzy TV. Thank you for having me. Uh, I mean, congratulations in the first place. How did you manage to get 4.0, level 300? Thank you. And I would say that I had a group studies right from level 100. So, right from level 100, we have this group where we used to help each other. And we made sure that it wasn't just a group, it was a team. We held each other's hand. And then that is by far how you've gotten here. Did you get 4.0 in level 100 and 200? Yeah, sure. Talking about become accountant per se, how did you manage to pass the FR1 and 2 and the quantity as well? So, <laughs> um, we decided to dedicate much time to those courses where um, you would say they were, they were strange or difficult courses. So, I decided to dedicate much time to them. And when I had difficulties, I approached other people for help seniors and then i uh, use other university books and that's that i'll say that's how i got here so dedication okay. dedication but me I, i've been there before i mean and i know some of us struggle to even get a b plus or b but for you get an a in quantity fr probably there's something special that we're used to study those courses maybe those watching us right now want to also learn something from you how did you manage to get a courses I would say just like our guest speaker said, you have to know yourself. So I know myself, I know my study, I know how I study and my study pace. So knowing that helps me to know the best time to learn, when to learn, where to learn and where not to learn. So doing that together with the dedication and everything, 
I know that if I dedicate two hours, I might be able to reach this, maybe B. But if I do maybe four or three hours, I, I will get an A. So knowing myself is the first step that got me here. We hope that God will help us get there. But we say it's not easy though. As we go forward, things are getting uh, difficult and things are getting toughened. But we hope that we can still maintain it. And we are, we are striving hard to do our best to maintain it. What is your final word to anybody watching us facing academic challenges, especially become accounting student in UCC here? I'll say become accounting is not a, a program that you just take it as a normal program. So uh, you should be ready to commit to the program and then also know yourself. You don't just take advice from anybody because if you don't know yourself and you take advice from people, it might not be the best for you. So if you know the type of person you are, how you learn and your pace, it might help you go far maybe get to the 4.0 you want to get to. You want to number yeah. 300. All right, so thank you very much for speaking to us. You are still talking about the Dean's Awards night. And I mean, seeing the beautiful ladies dressing like this, I didn't get that opportunity because 3.0 in Kram and Druho, no, I got 3.6. That was just by the way. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I mean, getting past 3.6 in the University of Cape Coast, not any other program, become procurement. How did you manage to do this? Um, when I, when I was little, my parents always used to say that if you're in the same class with someone and then the person is um, getting a very high grade or the person is first, why can't you do it? Because the person is not better than you or you're not better than the person. So far as you've been in the same class, you can also do it. So I've always kept this in mind ever since I was a kid. So SHS, university, I've always said if this person can do it, I can also do it. Uh, you, you have brought up another nice SHS. Which SHS? New job in senior high school. In Eastern region, right? Yes. And mostly you hear people talking about the big schools, but coming from New job in and getting a first class, how does it make you feel? Yeah, I'm very, I'm very happy about that because when I came here, people in the high schools like the butcher and the rest, some used to look down upon us when you're having whole weeks. They see you in your uniform, they'll be like, they'll just be laughing at you. But in all, we are all here and then we are pursuing academic work. All right, so I mean, what's the next step for you after getting the first class? Is it going to be over for you or you still have some plans to still maintain or probably move above that mm, it, it's so you feel so proud if you are here i'm sure everybody here is proud so i would like to maintain it and i'll like i'll do all my possible best to maintain it. before we move on there are some other ladies like you who are also out there they are not here maybe there's something you're doing right today and not doing that can you just share with us some of your secrets i mean how you learn and how you plan so that if they are watching life right now they can also take a cue from that okay. okay i know that i'm not so sharp in class so when i go to class i make sure i keep quiet and then i pay attention and after i come back to the hostel anything that i found difficult i make sure i go and when i was um, in shs one thing i didn't like was to study with people i always like to study early. but in the university it's so different group works studying with other people really helps because you are able to share ideas yeah. all right congrats all right all right so you're still interacting with some of them i mean i'm very excited because uh, i know that it's not that easy especially in the university of cape coast campus become accounting become accounting level 200 and getting cgp of 4.0 before we start a conversation congratulations thank you how did you manage to get the 4.0 well it's it's all about determination we have from the department of yeah. human resources it's it's all about determination yeah. when we came to the 100 the uh, they organized um, the dean's award like this then i went through the list and i saw a friend of mine achicho Emmanuel, who also had 4.0 during that time so seeing that and i decided that no if my friend has 4.0 then i can't so I, I went to him Level and I, I, I make him teach me. So anything that I don't understand, I get to him. And then I kept in some effort, determination that I can also get it. So I never stopped learning. And then I think that's how far. And that's what happened. And I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful for that. Yeah. What, what are you expecting from level 200 going? That's where you're going to introduce to the proper standard. What are your expectations? 
Yeah, my, my, I'm still going to keep on the determination because I know there is nothing that is impossible. If I want to make it, I know I can make it. So I just have to fight harder and I make sure that I keep on fighting to get to the goal and never get them back. See from Eric, what is your level 100 become accounting 4.0? Finally, your final word to somebody watching life right now and the person who wants to also learn like you and also achieve the 4.0. What do you have to say to them? Yeah, all I have to say is the fact that you have a slow start doesn't mean you can. You should keep on moving slowly. There is still chance. We have about um, six more semesters to complete. We've only exhausted two semesters out of eight, and there are six more. So we, we all, not just those who are in the first class, we all together, if we keep on fighting, the first thing is you, we have to set goals and then each semester we make sure we press in towards that goal. So to all those who couldn't make it to this award t today, there's still chance and then if we all, my word is if you keep on fighting, you set the goal and you say I'm going to get to this goal, keep on the efforts. If you don't understand the meeting, you go to a friend who understands then to shape each other. I think in doing so we can move forward. All right, so thank you very much for speaking to us. Yeah. Right, I still have um, one of them here, 4.0. Hi, hey, Charlie. Uh, I'm just going to go. 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 Congratulations. Thank you. How did you manage to pull this out? Oh, okay. I will see the first part is to thank God for helping me. Then the second one is hard work. Okay. Then the third one is... When we came to level 100, I, I was present at the DNC hour, so I saw people getting 4.0. Then I made them my target that I want to also be there and get 4.0. And I think those things motivated me to, to actually learn hard and be where I am today. All right, so I mean, you are not going to go into the proper accounting. I mean, uh, you know, for level 100 is mostly like a rehash of the SHS thing that you were taught. But of course, I know to become accountant, probably you did um, b business in SHS. And most of the things that you did in level 100 in terms of the departmental courses were the things that you were taught in SHS, but an upgrade of it. Now that you are now going to face the FR1 and 2, the quantity and those kind of things. Often when you hear from your seniors, does this scare you that probably a 4.0 will reduce? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, but I think with focusing and not losing God, I can still persevere. Yeah, focusing, no. focusing and not losing God, not being complacent of getting 4.0, like yeah. having the mentality that I want to persevere and maintain my CGP. And I know I can, I can make it. All right, so uh, maybe somebody's watching life right now and the person is downhearted and he or she doesn't know what to do. What kind of advice will you give to the person to also move back to maybe the first class or better? Okay, my advice is we still have more semesters ahead of us. So I think by motivating yourself and improving, working very hard, I think you can actually improve your CGP. Yeah. But with letting yourself down, being depressed, that's not going to help. You have to pull yourself up. Then you have to work hard. You have to persevere. And not also taking your spiritual life for granted. Because in, in everything, it is God that's going to give you the strength to learn. So I think that would be my advice to that person. All right. So once again, congratulations and thanks for speaking to us. All right, so uh, thank you very much for watching the Awards Night just ended, and it's fantastic. In fact, unfortunately, I didn't get the opportunity to be here when I was in, <laughs> I was in School of Business. That's my lecturer. All right, so I have you here. He's now the Dean of School of Business, Professor Gachi Prof. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Nice and I was for the department. How does it make you feel? It's the second time. Oh, the second time. Yeah. Well, you feel fulfilled because you've been able to identify motivated and well-performing students uh, who are uh, in the region of the first class. Uh, you are creating this opportunity to help them sustain it uh, for themselves and for the school. And we are happy because we are not only identifying with uh, those who have their names on the list, 
but it gives us the opportunity to extract and identify those who are far, far below and we take remedial action to support them. All right, and I, I, I listened to your speech and it says something, the number has reduced by 40%. What accounted for that? Well, I think this award is supposed to be for last year, but because of the COVID and the change in the semester, uh, we all have to go through a lot of challenges in trying to teach. Students have to go through a lot. Uh, some of them were in the house. They came at a point. They have to go back. Uh, we believe uh, uh, most of them were introduced to online learning um, for the first time. <coughs> uh, we were minded not to reduce the standard. Uh, so perhaps that was one of the reasons why uh, there was a drastic reduction in the number of people who are on the dean list now. All right, so uh, I mean, um, you are now the dean, and obviously, you always want to be happy to see your student excelling. So, what is your final word to people watching live right now, those who are not able to make it to this auditorium to also witness such a nice event? Well, as, as you may have listened, uh, you realize that I indicated some few students who were not on the dean list, but as a result of hard work, they find themselves in the dean list now and SEMA identified those people and uh, awarded them with 500 Ghana cities each. Uh, so the encouragement is that even though you are not on the Dean list now, with hard work, you'll be able to excel and become part of the uh, people who will be on the list next time. And from what the guest speaker also indicated, even those who are not on the dean list now, which means that they will not get first class by the time they complete, they also have many opportunities to excel. Some of them will be writing professional exams. It's another opportunity to excel and get awards. Uh, some of them will be going to do their masters, etc. It's another opportunity giving them to excel. So I, I believe those who are in school, opportunity is given to them to reassess themselves and work harder to become part of the uh, to be part of the list. And those who are in 400, uh, that there are many opportunities ahead of them in terms of their masters, in terms of their professional examinations. All right, so, sir, before you go, I know that maybe you're not going to blow your own horns, but you have so many business schools in Ghana, and I know some parents and kids are all watching. And I want you to just set this record straight. Why should somebody come to University of Cape Coast to pursue? any business related program because we are the best we are serious we are reliable we build a team and we think about the professional career of our students we expose them to many professional bodies and uh, we are uh, in close affinity with the professional bodies they are very active with us in all the programs they do if you go to our school of business the name tags on all the doors are provided by sima sima are provided a set of books in our library, ACC is putting up a, a new modern resource center for us. Uh, ICAG has been supporting our students to write in the professional exam with scholarship, books, etc. As you have seen them demonstrated now, uh, we we are able to bring on board alumni. We bring people who come and share their experiences while in school and out of school to the student. They are always on the move for motivation, and that is why you they have to be in the in the University of Cape Coast School of Business. So thank you very much Prof for speaking to us and God bless you for thank giving you us you attention. Thank Fortunately I have the Papa. I mean when you talk about Papa you know you know what I'm talking about. The Papa, the spiritual father of the School of Business. <laughs> Dr. George Taki. And he went to one of the best senior high schools in Ghana. Senior high school, I mean the only college in Ghana at this other college. Prof Doc I've even promoted you. Yes. <laughs> Doc, welcome to Dazi Team. Thank you. Well, finally, I mean, you have witnessed so many Dean's Awards Night. Sure. What do you make of this year's uh, Awards Night? Well, uh, this uh, uh, year's Awards, um, it's not so different from what we've had over the years. The schools in the whole of Ghana, if not the best. And in the University of Cape Coast, we are also, I mean, the best uh, school or faculty in the school. We produce the best students. Um, so, we are excited that this year we've also honored uh, our deserving students, I mean those who have a CGP of 3.6 and above. Um, our little uh, disappointment in a way 
it's been a drop in the number of students who uh, have won award this year because we're expecting more of our students to to win awards nevertheless hey the, these students deserve it it's part of all the challenges they've made it and we are proud of them yes talking about the number i i listened to the dean and he said the number has dropped to almost about 40 percent yes so what accounted for that well um proud to COVID. what it means is that those who have first class last year could not maintain their first class particularly those who are in level 200 and level 300 you know who who are in the 300 and 400 now i mean those who are in level 200 and who are in 300 and 400 now they couldn't maintain their first class position and that is what has a, accounted for uh, the drop you know so and and, and as i said earlier that there's pressure on them to achieve and it is more difficult to maintain than even to uh, to add on to the first class list or the dean's uh, award list yeah all right so now that you have identified the problem almost 40 percent are not there anymore what what is the school going to do i mean you as a cap your capacity as the head uh, head of the department for accounting what are you going to do um, to bring those back to where they belong yeah we will need to we will need to re-strategize we will need to encourage our students to uh, go back to their to their lesson and then concentrate more on maintaining the standard the challenge has been that because the students wants to uh, compete among themselves sometimes they don't learn together they don't help each other you know in, when they are they, they find others failing and when you try to compete too much i remember last year uh, we had almost about for become accounting i um, mean the, in the whole department close about 200 of the students getting first class this year we have just 100 of the students so we need to go back to, to the drawing board and find ourselves ask ourselves what is making these students uh, have uh, I mean, low grades now as compared to the previous year and probably it's maybe uh, uh, get them to support each other you know to, to learn to learn how to uh, uh, do team uh, uh, I mean teamwork or group more the group discussion and also talk to our lecturers to encourage our students you know to, to show more interest in the academics of our students so that those who are not pulling up their weight you know um, one of the students uh, came to me last time one of them who had a, a 4.0 CGPA and unfortunately for him he, he, he had I think two uh, courses where he had a, a B and then a B plus and that has dropped him out of the, uh, the 4.0 range even though he still uh, got an award as a, 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 a dean a, a awardee so we need to encourage these students that they can they can make it and the ultimate is for them to 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 make the grades at the end of the day and be, and become first class to them when eventually graduate all right i mean, I mean um, uh, there's a saying going out there mm. that we have school of business the college of humanities and legal studies in other universities are also producing business students yeah what makes university of Cape Coast become as as a department or as a unit yeah. or as a school in the university the most enviable department in the school of course all over the country all over the country uh, in the university of cape coast the flash over the years has been the bachelor of commerce program um, the uniqueness of this program is that it produces in students the technique of the the, 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 the techniques the basics of commerce anybody who goes to the become program is well trained it's an all-round program and so students are not half big when they do a bachelor of commerce program particularly when they focus on account or become now we've also struck a program such that the program sinks accountancy programs like ICA Ghana ACCA and SEMA we take the course content of programs aligning with the course we are outline so the students are well trained in the basics of professional accounting program as well of course the, the educational content and so students who go through our program become well vexed when it comes to accountancy education in ghana and that is why our students excel anytime they uh, undertake uh, professional uh, 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 programs examinations they excel because they are well trained and the program uh, uh, ensures that they understand uh, the fundamentals of uh, the accounting uh, curriculum you know yeah all right so um your final word to those who were not able to make it to the awards and then those who just received the award maybe your final word to anybody watching live yeah, right now we will say congratulations to bodies who won awards this year uh, those who were in the, in the dean's award 
last year and couldn't make it this year i want to encourage them that they can still come back and make it you know the, uh, this year we've had some new entrants people who didn't win the dean's award last year and last two years and yet this year they are part of the dean's award so they can come back they just have to work harder thank you very much for speaking to dazi tv in echo gh thank you for having me all right so i have the president of ucaps that is uh, the school of business the president of UCAPS over here, Kadehu organization. How does it make you feel? Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, last year I was a student. Um, also being here myself, um, seeing how the whole event was. Witnessing it um, by God's grace this year, we are also part as leaders of the student body as part of um, the organizers of the event. So we were actually part in everything that went on. And it was amazing seeing the events coming out or turning out successfully, despite the COVID challenges that um, we are currently facing. Yeah. All right, so now we had some students who were not able to make it to the award. I mean, when I listened to the Dean, mm -hmm. and he said that the number has dropped almost about 40% yeah. as an unit, I mean, mm -hmm. as a president of yeah. the UCAPS, taking into consideration to help those who were not able to make it to the awards, nine, the awards this time around, to make it some other time. Oh, okay. Um, yes, I listened to the Dean speak myself when he was um, presenting or addressing the audience, and then I was shocked at um, the number of um, students who have dropped the percentage, who have actually drop and I think um, I witnessed it myself looking at the number here it wasn't the same um, last year and um, it's 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 something that um, we all want to work at to correct because I believe that um, most of the students got relaxed during the COVID break I mean we had about three four months of, um, of, 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 of a break which had never happened in the academic year before and most students came back to campus um, basically um, having nothing in their in their head in terms of academics because students usually learn under pressure and or when they are on campus and some students also you know provide for themselves so when the covid break came i believe some of them also went out to seek other um, menial jobs so that they can prepare themselves towards the reopening even some thought um, the reopening wouldn't come off at all but um, we did came, come back to campus and then had the exams and the period was very very short I must say and I believe that that was part of um, the, the reason why we are seeing the drop in the, the, the numbers but I believe in um, the commerce I believe in um, um, our body as become student that our students are always motivated even during um, times of um, downcasting they are always motivated to do more I believe most of the students who couldn't come um, to witness the event watch live online through your media platform and they will be uh, encouraged seeing what has happened here to work harder towards um, um, next academic year's um, award thank you very much for speaking to us thank you very much mr for having me All right.